see we have the nut on the back side I'm trying to take this off where I can show you everything take the see this is the screw that runs all the way through so that this won't slide off of our pipe so once we get it on our pipe you'll need a, a vise hopefully you've got a little place to where you can clamp the stuff as you're drilling it because you don't want to hold it with your hand and have that drill drill bit slip off and get you this next tee now this tee is just like the other one I got this tee off this is just exactly like the other one this is where it was open and I got some plugs which are you can get these plugs at any hardware store and all they do is you, you put some put some glue on it slide them in as far as you can on both sides that was for that top T. This is for the adjustment of your top rod. And what we've done here is we've gotten a piece of three quarter inch PVC. Okay, see this is our, our pipe. And then I'm going to show you how it hooks into the bottom of my roll around stand I mean you probably won't be able to find anything like this you might if you do that's great but we're back up to this T and this T the purpose of this T is it'll slide on here and this doesn't have to glue on you can just slide this on in case you need to cut this thing off as you go down to get it to the right height you want Okay, this T is on there. The conduit will slide down in here, but now we needed a way to keep the conduit from raising up and down to the certain height. So that's what this that's what this eye bolt does. So what I did here. Now, I was showing you earlier about the threads in this pipe that we use on the top. We get one of these threaded plugs, put it in there, and screw it on. Okay, but now this one, we have to drill a hole through it because we need to get this bolt through it. Okay, and then the way this works, this is our bolt that we got out of this T up here. See this is the one screws into here. Screw that in and that this tightens up the rod that goes up and down here. Okay but now this here might be a little difficult but it, it's it's it can be done. Okay, now I got the right plug. Now we need a threaded plug. This is where we need to drill that hole in the center. And you mark across the edges so that you can find the dead center of this plug. Now you just find any kind of straight edge and just come from the all the corners. did the best I could here but anyway you can see now we know where the center is now we drill a hole dead center of that okay we got that locked up in our vise got our drill bit now we're going to drill a hole and you want to try to get it as this drill bit to start in the center 
as possible. This is one reason why you need a vise to kind of hold these little parts like this. Okay, and then you want to be sure you're running on slow speed. And moms or dad, I think really you should be drilling this hole in case your young son or daughter doesn't have the strength to catch this thing because or at least help them hold the drill. Okay, we got our hole drilled in it. Now we need to put our bolt in there. And it should just slide through. Yes, so it slides through. Okay, we've got a nut on the back side, and then we've got this nut on the inside. And so what we need to do is tighten this one down so that we can pull this one into the inside like this one is. This is going to be our this is going to be our tightening bolt for the inside of the conduit to be able to stop it at a certain height that we want. Okay, so we'll get this over here. This is where you're definitely going to need a vise. This is going to be awful difficult to do without one. Okay, now that we got the bolt through there, we've got the nut on the back side, nut on the front side. Now you can use two wrenches or you can use a vise and a wrench. But what we need to do is tighten this nut down so that we can pull this nut up inside this plug and it doesn't have to go very far so just get to all it's got to do is just go in there just enough so when you tighten up just just get that nut up in there just enough so when you back this thing out the nut stays in place. That's the only reason we're doing this. It's because when we put pressure on that conduit, it keeps it from sliding up and down the pipe. So we're going to tighten this up just a little bit more. That should be just about all we need. Okay, now what we've done, see how that nut's been pulled up inside it? So we can back this thing out and if you wanted to you can take it all the way out take this other nut off of there because you don't necessarily need that anymore. Now being that this nut's been pulled up in there it's kind of swelled up these threads so this might be kind of hard to start. It doesn't need to go in there very far but you do need to get it tight so when you're adjusting or tightening up this bolt that you don't turn this at the same time. So you want to make sure you get that good and tight. All right, we've got that on there. We've got the top head done. Okay. What I wanted to show you is that you know you can those Christmas tree stands made out of lumber. You know they cross each other. They have one going that way and then one going this way. Anyway, they make an X. Well, you could do the same thing if you didn't have anything else. But what I really wanted to show you was this bolt. It's stuck up in there. It's a 3 8 bolt with that washer on there I was showing earlier. And then this one seems to slide down on there. Oops. Didn't mean to let it go. That slides down on there very well and tight. Of course, moving around is going to do it because the bolt's not long enough. But... What I want to show you is this bolt that fits inside this pipe that it fits good and tight. You know, I can't, I can't really move it around. I mean, of course, you can't tell that, but you can get it for yourself. Three quarter inch PVC and a three eighths bolt and the washer and the top. And I got to get something to pull that out of there. It is tight. So 
one thing I like about it, but it did come out. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in our stand. And now we're gonna get our, put our nut on there. Of course, I have to hold the bolt while I tighten the nut because I can't reach down in through there to get a hold of that top of that bolt. Okay, got that done. Get this over. Pipe down in there. There. See, now we're good and sturdy. Now, I'm not saying this isn't a flimsy, because it is flimsy. You can it'll move around, but I mean as far as the the bottom of it, it's stationary. In other words, it's not gonna be flopping around. Okay, we got your your T on. We just need to get our conduit through the top so we can tighten out for the height that we need. And this one, just to show you what I'm talking about, it's a little easier to show you with a short piece. See this will slide up and down, but then you tighten your then it's tight. It's not going to slide. But the good thing about it, if you do have your camera mounted and you need to go somewhere and you don't want to carry the whole unit you can just unscrew this, take that out, take your camera wherever you want to. And then, and if you get tired of holding it, you just bring it right back over here and stick it right back in here, tighten it up. Okay, we're going to put our other, other extension pole in there. 